What's up guys, it's Nick here, and welcome back to the Mario Kart Monday. Today we're going to be showing off uh, some of the amiibo here, uh, mainly the Inkling amiibo, because that was the only amiibo that they added for uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe here, so I'm going to go scan them in right now. I actually want to know first if the squid amiibo works, so I'm going to tap in the squid amiibo, see if this works. And it does, okay. Because I, I would have hoped that all the uh, Splatoon Amiibo does work for uh, this game. And that it does give you the Splatoon outfit. Because if it doesn't, then I just feel like then that would just be kind of a waste. Because it would be stupid to have, like, I don't know if it works for like the Pearl Marina ones. But I really do hope that it does. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna go with my little me costume right here. I guess they take off the glasses for the, uh, helmet, which is a little weird. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with these, um, stats. Because I, I like this, uh, so far, the stats that I have. And, um, I guess we'll go with 150, frantic mode, hard computer, random courses, and four races so let's go ahead and start um but yeah i do hope i mean I, we didn't really have an update for uh splatoon or not splatoon 2 for mario kart 8 deluxe here um i don't know if that's i mean maybe it was in the update for link that they added um the Pearl marina um uh, amiibo to work and get the uh splatoon gear but again i don't know because i don't have the Pearl Marina, uh, Splatoon 2, uh, what are they called? Amiibo. But, um, I do hope that they do work. If you guys have the Pearl Marina, uh, Amiibo, let me know if they do work for, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe here. And that they, uh, do give the, uh, Splatoon 2, uh, outfit or not. So I, actually, I really do want to know. Um, I wonder if the Marie and Callie also work, or the, um, what's the other ones? The, uh, Splatoon 2 Amiibo, like the second series of the Splatoon Amiibo. So the Inkling Girl for Splatoon 2, the Inkling Boy for Splatoon 2, and the, um, Squid for Splatoon 2. Also the Octolings. Actually, I don't think they came out yet. The Ockling uh, Amiibo. So you have the Ockling Boy and the Ockling Girl Amiibo. And then the Ockling Squid, I guess you could say. Or Ockling Form uh, Amiibo. Which all look really cool, by the way. But I think I'm done with Amiibo, to be honest. I don't really find a uh, use to uh, really buying them anymore. But yeah, I mean, what else Amiibo are they going to come out with? Ridley? Inkling, I guess, again, for Smash Bros. Probably Daisy, and then you got uh, Fox and Wolf and Pichu and probably uh, Young Link, maybe. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not really big fans of, like, any of those games. Maybe I'll get Snake. I don't know. And then again, I really haven't gotten, like, any of my Amiibo that I really like. I said that I was going to get the um, Shulk Amiibo because I love Xenoblade Chronicles, but I never got that yet. And then I wanted to get the, uh, what's it called, the Ike Amiibo because I love Ike in Smash Bros. And even as a character in, um, what's it called, um, in Fire Emblem. So I wanted to get him, but I never actually did. But maybe I will. Who knows? Um, cause I think, yeah, they have their uses. I think Ike has uses in, like, some other games, too. Like, Codename Steam, even though I don't have that game. Like, he has, like, some special uses, I think, in, uh, Fire Emblem Awakening. And maybe, no, not, not Awakening. Uh, Fates. So, um, pretty cool stuff there. But, anyway, going back to Mario Kart Deluxe here. It's really weird. Like, they add just one me costume. Like, seriously? Just one me costume to this updated game for the, uh, 
from the Wii U to the, um, uh, Switch. They're like, oh, we're gonna add new Mii costumes, too. One, in fact. Just Splatoon. So we know how much you guys love Splatoon. But yet, they didn't do anything else. They didn't do, like, I don't know. Maybe Shulk, or maybe... Costume for, like, Ness. I don't know, something cool. But, they really didn't do much. But, they, I mean, they, they did say that they are updating Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, um, later on, like they did with Link, and, uh, Breath of the Wild outfit and stuff like that, and with the Labo and all that stuff. So, I can definitely see them, um, adding some more content. It's just a matter of time. But, it's weird that they're doing it now, and yet this game is almost a year old on the Switch, and yet it's like five years old on the Wii U, which is pretty crazy, like, it, it honestly is. Mario Kart 8 is five years old, and there's been five years since a real new Mario Kart game came out. But I guess that's not, like, um, including the DLC and stuff. So I think when Mario Kart 8 was, like, finished with all the DLC and stuff, it was, like, what was it, like, 2000... 16, I think? So it's been two years, maybe? I think 2016. I might be wrong. So I know the last one was what? Like, Villager with Animal Crossing and all that stuff? And that was, I think, spring of... 2000... Either 15 or 16. I think it's 16. So it's only two years. Maybe it is three years. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I, th I think it's two years. I think it is two years. Almost three years. But it's two years. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy, though. Two years without... Or almost three years without a... Really new Mario Kart game. And I really don't know... If, um... They are going to add, um... Are they just going to add on to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, or are they going to make a Mario Kart 9? Because, I don't know, like, it really does seem like... The smarter thing to do would be adding more stuff to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as DLC. Because, if you're doing that, you have you already have, like, a big game that pretty much everyone has on the Switch now. Because I think it's, like, the most selling game on the Switch... Or something crazy like that. Which I don't really understand because, again, it's been out for like four or five years on the Wii U. But, um, I guess people that bought the Switch didn't have the Wii U, so, yeah. Because the Wii U didn't sell as well. And the only reason that I got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe here was just because to have it on the go and stuff with my friends. Also because my Mario Kart 8 uh, disc is literally messed up beyond belief. I think that's one of the reasons why I can't get, um, mods for Mario Kart 8. I don't even know if you can mod Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I think you can. But, I have to check into that. I still haven't been able to hack the Switch. I haven't actually been trying either. I probably should be. I know you need, like, a paper clip and it has to be really precise. But, I couldn't do it the first time, so I kind of just gave up. Cause it's more, it's not like more of a, like a, I like guess a software thing, it's a, it's a hardware thing. Or is it the opposite? I don't really know, to be honest. But yeah, hopefully they do add more Mii costumes, cause I think they did that in Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. Like it used to be just like Mario and Luigi and Peach and Donkey Kong and like some other characters like Captain Falcon and, uh, Samus, but then they add, like, Sonic and Olimar and Pac-Man and all those characters, I guess, because I got confirmation from, uh, those companies, but, yeah, they can't, they can't get confirmation, though, from, like, Pokemon, like, the Pokemon Amiibo are really just worthless because, like, Pokemon's really their own company, so Nintendo can't really use, um, the Pokemon Amiibo, unless they get, I guess, permission. 
to um, use them for uh, their games or whatever. So that's why there's no like Pikachu outfit for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe here. That's why they're not the Pokemon Amiibo aren't really used for anything special. I don't even think they're used for uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, to be honest. But there we go, first place again. I'm actually getting like really good at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe again. Like I was playing uh, some online matches, maybe you guys saw in my test stream, where I uh, test the live stream and stuff, and I was doing really well. I came in like first a uh, lot of the time, and most of the time I had a good lead, but then people like screwed me over with blue shells and red shells and all that stuff. And then I can't come in like second or third, but I usually come in the top six. And you know, like, I'm actually playing against other people, so like, you'd think that they would be a little bit harder than the CPUs, but it's actually kind of the opposite. I feel like CPUs might actually be tougher in some situations. But it's really sad that there's no, like, 200cc in, um, online. I think maybe there is, like, for tournaments, but for the regular online play, it's just... 150, 100, and I think maybe 50? Actually, no, I don't think 50 cc is one of the options. But, yeah. Really, I just come in first, and of course you give me a blue shell. Oh, I thought Shy Guy was going to hit my banana peel there. That would have been good. Alright, really, how is that not slipstream? I'm literally, like, very close behind him. And yet, that doesn't count as Slipstream. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, what other me costumes I could do. I'm trying to think. Maybe King DDD. I have, like, a King DDD costume, that'd be cool. Um, what else? I already said Shulk. Uh, maybe Lucas, I don't know. Bayonetta. I mean, Bayonetta would just be kind of plain. Just have, like, the Bayonetta glasses and the Wicked Weaves, I guess. So, really isn't much you could do with that. And, and then again, I think, isn't Bayonetta, yeah, Bayonetta's considered third party, I think, also. I don't even have the Bayonetta me, but I feel like... I mean, I feel like they would use the new amiibo, the more newer amiibos, but most of the more, like, new amiibos are third parties because of, um, the DLC characters are, most of them are third parties. So, yeah. Yeah, they could probably use maybe the Wedding Mario Amiibo as an outfit for, um, either Mario or for, um, the Mii costume. Probably the Mii costume because there's already four Marios, so we don't need another Mario. Um, but I guess it could be something like with Link and Breath of the Wild Link with, uh, or just regular Link. And how you can swap between them, and then for Mario you can swap between... Um, wedding Mario, or just, uh, regular Mario. But then again, you have Tanuki Mario, and Mario are two separate characters, so, who knows? You know, they should be, like, the same character as, like, a selection, but, no, he's a completely new character, apparently. Um, but anyway, that's gonna be it for today, guys. So that was the Inkling Amiibo, um, compatibility with... Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is a cool little costume for your me character. Pretty cool stuff. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of what you think I should do for Mario Kart Mondays, let me know. But until then, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Mario Kart Mondays right here on Tone Neck. Bye.